Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Pretty Little Thing haul. It's always been a place that I've wanted to try from. I've been so curious and so intrigued just because the prices and the deals are so good and the clothing always looks really cute when influencers are posting them or other YouTubers are talking about them. But the one thing that I've always been nervous about is the quality, just because the prices are so low when they do go on sale. Um, but when they are retail price, they, it actually is fairly expensive, so for what it is. And so I thought I'd put it to a test. My curiosity got the best of me and I placed an order and I bought a few things. I knew if I was placing an order for Pretty Little Thing, I had to order a pair of their joggers. It's one of the most talked about things from Pretty Little Thing and rightfully so. They're very inexpensive. So these ones are the light mint sweatpant jogger. Um, I got them in a size extra small and the color mint and regular price they're $32 Canadian but I got them on sale for $25.60. Overall, so this is what they look like. They're cinched in from the waist. Um, you have a drawstring on the inside and they're fleece lined, which is really nice. Um, and they definitely have the little leg hole as well. I find with some sweatpants that the leg hole ends up being really loose so it doesn't bunch up around the ankle. Um, it leaves a little weird little gap, but these ones actually, they're much tighter from the ankle, but they have a lot of stretch. So I think that they fit really well. Um, the other thing that I noticed about these ones is if you have long legs like me, they're so, so flattering because they're really long. Um, and especially if you're going for a high-waisted look, they hit right at the waist. Um, and you can tie it in from the inside as well to give you a little bit more of a snatched look. Um, and they fit me perfectly. They hit me right at the bottom of the ankle. Um, I personally have a really hard time finding sweatpants that fit my legs um, but if you are on the smaller side uh, just be a little bit careful of they might start to bunch up from the bottom for you or give you a lot of space in the crotch area um, and bunch up a little bit there just because they are on the longer end okay so now in terms of quality you can tell that even though they fit great they look great you can tell that they aren't the best quality um, sweatpants. I've only worn them twice since I've bought them and they've already started to get really extremely linty from um, just the fabric and I know it's one of those things where you wash it a few times it's just not gonna look as good as it was when you pulled it out of the bag brand new but overall I think for what you get they are so flattering but I'm interested to see the way that the quality holds up in comparison to some of the other sweatpants that I have that was it. So ordering from Pretty Little Thing, I had to pay $15 in shipping um, to Canada. And I I didn't wanna just order one thing and then pay $15 shipping. Um, so to try to make it worth it, I made an impulse decision to buy this top, which is a faux leather bandeau top. Um, and it looks like this. And I got it in a size zero, and the cost of it was $25 retail, but then I got it on sale for $20. Honestly, it looked a lot cuter on the website than it does in person. It's not bad. It's a very, very thin material. Um, it's nice that it has a little bit of a sticky lining at the top to hold it, to prevent it from dropping down. Um, and then it has a zip at the back and then a little bit of an elastic here just in case it is a little bit tight. Um, I did get this in a Z US Zero and this ended up being actually a little bit too big on me. Um, it's not the most like tight here but I'm also not the biggest chested. So this is a smallest size and it is a little big so if you're around my frame um, it might not be the best purchase but overall like for $20 it's not bad and if you pair it with a nice pair of jeans and a nice pair of heels it could be a really cute going out outfit I know we're in quarantine we Ontario is still in lockdown um well Brenton's still in lockdown so won't be going out anytime soon but I'm definitely I think when things open up a little bit this might be a really cute top to go out in 
So the next thing that I got was this long sleeve um, off the shoulder bodysuit from Pretty Little Thing. Um, I got it, it's in the color gray and I got it in a size zero. Um, and it was originally priced for $16 and I got it for $12.80. Um, overall, it is a really, really thin material, um, but it feels super soft and it's not see-through by any means, which is really nice. Um, that usually ends up being the case when you're buying things that are, that are a little bit more on the cheaper end. Um, I really like the way that the off the shoulder fits me. Um, I think it's very, very flattering. Um, the reason why I bought this top was because I was trying to look for a Joa Brown knockoff. If you guys don't know what Joa Brown is, they're a California based, um, athleisure street style, um, streetwear brand and they do some really really cute clothing but they're just so expensive and so I thought that if I could find um, an outfit from Pretty Little Thing that would almost act as a knockoff that I'd be saving myself a lot more money so I'm like okay try it from Pretty Little Thing before you go and go ahead and purchase it from um, from Joe Brown. The one thing that you'll notice is because it is a bodysuit um, for some people, they might find it convenient that it does snap off from the bottom. So it does make it easier when you are going to the washroom um, to kind of just snap it open and snap it back. But honestly, because it is such a cheap material and this little um, white portion and even the snaps are just not the strongest and the most secure, I always feel like they're going to unclasp and I kind of wish they had just sewn this so that it was one single bodysuit instead of the little snaps um, and you'll notice this with a lot of their bodysuits as well and it's something that I just don't like about it. So the next thing that I got was another bodysuit. It is this sage green bodysuit and I thought that the color was so so cute. The reason why I bought it was because I wanted to pair it as a matching set to the sweatpants that I showcased earlier so that it would be like a cute cute little set. Um, you feel a lot more put together because the things are coordinated. This color is slightly off from the sweatpants but I still think that it could work but honestly I would probably wear this with jeans. Yeah so this is the sage green rib one shoulder under bust bodysuit and I got it in a size 2 um, and the cost of it originally was $12 and I got it for $9.60. Um, the, since this one is in a size 2, it is a little bit on the looser end for me and I think I would have gone down one size if they had a zero available, but they didn't. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I think it's very cute, um, but again, it is like the material just does not feel nice. A little bit on the itchier side. Um, it's definitely very, very thin. It's not smooth by any means and it's the same thing as the last bodysuit it has this weird clasp at the bottom with really itchy fabric that just seems to be sewn on um i think there's ways to make it look really cute and fashionable um say pairing it with a pair of jeans and like a pair of sneakers in the summer um or with like another pair of like say gray sweats um i think it would look really cute but i'm not sure if i'm going to keep it just because the quality is just i don't know i don't want to feel cheap and the last thing that i want to showcase is this one shoulder bodysuit it is a long sleeve and it's a jersey material so very similar to the gray one that i showed earlier but a lot softer um it just feels really really nice um, but because it is a jersey material, you can see that it stretches a lot. Um, and I think when you're wearing a bodysuit, you definitely want it to fit a lot more snug on the body um, than it being a little bit more drapey, especially if it is one shoulder. When I wear it, it starts to just droop over from, from the area that I don't have um, the sleeve. I got it in a size 2 and it was... $12 but then I got it on sale for $9.60 um, but again I think it droops over because it is a size 2. I think if it was a size 0 it probably would have fit a lot lot better. Again it was one of those things that I wanted to wear um, 
with a pair of sweatpants, um, black sweats, or just even those green sweats. I think it would make athleisure just look a lot cuter. Um, so you're looking, so you look put together, but then also comfortable at the same time. So that was kind of the vibe that I was going for. Oops, I forgot something. So the last thing that I wanted to showcase was this little bralette. And honestly, it was the most disappointing thing that I got from the haul. Um, this is what it looks like. And I thought it would be such a cute bralette to wear with a pair of sweats, just at home, lounging around. But honestly, um, I'll go over what, the call, what they're called. So this is called the Cream Ribbed Plunge Bralette. And I got it in a size zero and the color is cream. Um, it retails for $18 and I got it for $14.40. Um, I was extremely disappointed with this one just because it is such an uncomfortable material. This band right at the bottom is first of all just one of those fabrics that you probably get from the taller store um, and it really just digs into your skin and just not feel smooth. It's really, really rough. And I feel like by the end of the day of wearing this, um, I would probably have a lot of just like um, scratches against my skin and I'm so sad. The, the pictures just made it look a lot cuter than what it looks like in person. And that kind of concludes my pretty little thing haul. Um, the one thing that I learned from them is that a lot of their pictures make the clothing look a lot better than they what they look like in person. I was honestly quite disappointed when I did see it come in. Um, the main thing that I noticed is that the fabric is just so much thinner than what I'm used to. And when I say that I don't mean I'm paying an exorbitantly amount of more money to buy something of a very similar style. So a bralette like this, I could probably go to Aerie and find one on sale for 10 bucks. That is of so much better um, quality um, than the bralette from Pretty Little Thing. And I definitely don't think that it's worth $18 at all. Um, just because of what you what else you can find in the market and that's kind of like my thoughts on pretty little thing I don't see myself Purchasing from them again to be honest one because you do have to pay a shipping fee to get it shipped over um, And returns aren't free either so it is a hit or miss in terms of ordering from them and I just don't like that security I'd rather buy um, from a store that I can try on the clothes. Maybe I'm paying a few dollars more um, for a very similar item, but at least I think it is a bit safer. I'm not contributing to clothing waste. Um, I think that's a huge problem that we have these days, especially with fast, fa fast fashion brands. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed my Pretty Little Thing haul. Um, those are my two cents on Pretty Little Thing so far. I hope you guys enjoyed and this was useful for you as well. Anyways, I'll see you guys in another video. Peace, guys.